Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, I have another word to give to you all today. And it's about the spirit of Vashti and the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Vashti and the spirit of Jezebel. Those of you that don't know, Vashti appears in the book of Esther. And um, she was a queen. And long story short, her husband called her out, the king, called her out so that she could be, um, just so that the, the court could see her beauty and she refused to go to her husband. And she did it in a way that publicly shamed the king. And so what ended up happening to Queen Vashti was that she was removed from her position. She was replaced. Um, this was a decision that was made based on the fact that they felt that her actions would then become a trend with the other women within the courts as she opposed the king publicly. The other thing that I want to talk to you all about is Jezebel. Everyone knows the story of Jezebel. In a nutshell, she ruled with an iron hand and she was married to Ahab, who was weaker Actually, it wasn't that he was weaker, but he took that position of weakness with Jezebel. And Jezebel did things by manipulation. She did things through um, force, and she destroyed a lot of people. And the end of Jezebel was, as she sat in the window, painted her face with makeup to try to entice those who had come to destroy her. She was pushed to her death by the eunuchs. In both cases, by their own means, by their own plots and their own way of life, the choices that they made is what brought them both to a place of either being removed from a position and one being removed, but of course ending in fatality. The word of the Lord today is that there are a lot of Jezebel, women with a Jezebel and the Vashti spirits that are preventing a lot of men who have been called by God from doing the things that they are supposed to do. You are married to a man that is called by God. He may be a pastor or he may be someone that's called to do the things of God. He may not necessarily be pastoring, pastoring. It could be doing missions. It could be doing whatever it is, but you are in a place where you are doing things just like Jezebel, just like Vashti. You're keeping these men in subservient positions by these manipulative means. One, as Vashti, you're publicly humiliating these men. You're publicly humiliating your husband, your spouse. You're ruling with an iron fist. You disrespect him. And then there's a other that you use a lot of guile and means to manipulate and to make things your way. You are following a lot of the worldly, um, the worldly methods to manipulate your husband and to get the things that you want from him. There are a lot of things that you do secretly that your husband is not aware of. And what God is saying, you will not keep my servant from doing the things that he needs to do. You are not going to keep my servant by trying to improve this today's woman mentality upon him by not submitting to your husband you will not do these things by the manipulating means that you are you have taken against him there's some of you that you are doing things behind his back some of you have used your sexiness your attractiveness your um, what those will call today your just your your attitude your 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 aura you're using this thing to get what you want to stir other people other men particularly within the ministry to side with you and to coerce him but it is not that you truly need these men because you in fact are ruling with an iron fist inside of the house you decide when and where and how things will be so there are some pastors who are in positions who are married to women of this nature who are literally um literally 
adjusting things within the church they are not doing things that are right they're not following the things of god because you have spun a demonic web around this man you are of a deep dark demonic spirit you pass on control to your husband through sex through sex and manipulation you do these things to control him it is not of God you're being led by a witchcraft demonic spirit and God is singing just like Jezebel and just like Vashti your end will come if you do not stop doing what you're doing and if you continue to hold my servant hostage with your wiles and your guile God is saying he will allow the spirit you see you're dealing with a very deep dark demonic spirit it may feel good to you to do what you're doing and to have this control but those spirits that you're dealing with they're as they are extremely dark and dangerous and because by the grace and mercy of God and truly because of the covering of your husband he has not allowed you to do certain he has not allowed those spirits to 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 take you and he has been speaking to your heart but some of you have gone too far and what God is saying because you are holding up my servant you see you see my servant will be accountable for his actions but you are a part of the problem so because of that God is getting ready to take his head from off of you and what you're gonna find is a lot of these spirits that you are using to manipulate will become will turn on you and become a deep dark demonic prison in your life some of you will lose your mind you will become insane you will become depressed some of you if 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 you don't stop fooling with these spirits the same spirits will just like those wild pigs when the demons entered into those wild pigs they went and ran over the edge of, the, of a cliff God is saying if you don't stop those spirits will take you to your own demise they will let you do it with your own hands you're messing with wicked spirits you're messing with deep dark demonic spirits a lot of you are doing things against your husband's will a lot of you are doing things you like to provoke your husband you like to see him get mad at you as you go talk to somebody you like to go against the will of your husband you know he has concerns perhaps with a particular brother talking to you a particular situation people calling your cell phone and talking to you and you are doing it anyway because you like to get a rise out of your husband and what you do is you are you actually talk him down and you're doing this in the presence of others and so there are even men within your organization or whatever that stands with you almost as if they your goons to bully your husband or to try to override him because they realize that he's in your pocket but what God is saying I'll unleash the deep demonic experience that you are operating in on yourself you will end up losing your mind you will end up falling into a deep depression you will end up harming your own self because these spirits are dark and demonic and God says he will remove you completely if you continue to be a stumbling block to his servant Turn back to the Lord while you can. Turn back to the Lord before it's too late. The spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Vashti, you're operating in those spirits. Those women had individual names, but the spirit behind both is the same. It's a witchcraft, sexual, immoral spirit. It is a demon that destroys, it imprisons, it hinders, it manipulates, it starts trouble. And there's a lot of things that you have done behind your husband's back that he does not understand. A lot of you are in ministry. You have done some under table, some backdoor things in that church to members, to people. And your husband don't even know why people have left. He doesn't know why this couple is no longer in the church. He doesn't know why he can't reach out to people. And I see some of you, when he wants to reach out, you tell him he shouldn't. You make him feel like you're going to take care of it because you don't want him to discover what you've done. But God says, I know what you've done, and that's what you need to worry about. I hear God saying, repent. Repent. 
Allow that man to be the covering. Allow him to be in the position that he needs to be. Release that man. Allow that man to walk into the, the, the service that I have called him to walk in. Because whether you agree or not, whether you repent or not, I'm going to put him in the place that he needs to be. All right, guys, I thank you for this word, Lord. I thank you for this word. I pray, oh God, that it will reach those it needs to reach. I pray that you will cover your servant as I have spoken this word. I come against every plot of Satan right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that those who may try to come at me one way will flee seven. I thank you, Father God, that you are in control of all things. And I thank you, oh God, that in all things you are being glorified in Jesus' name. All right, guys, meditate on this. And if it's not for you, it's not for you because it's not for everybody. All right. Bye.